Hi, everybody. This is Pat Aruna Nunchai from EveryNet, and this is 26 Questions with Pat. Hi, Pat. Thank you for taking time to join us today for our 26 Questions interview. Yep. Happy to be here. And thanks so much for the opportunity to share with the community. Cool. Let's start this. How did you come up with the name EveryNet? Yeah, so the word every actually comes from the word everyone. Uh, and that's because we want to provide a network that allows anyone to connect to the DeFi world. What are the top priorities for your project this year? What is the main vision and goal of your project? And who are your targeted customers? Um, for the rest of the year, we plan to launch Every.Finance, uh, which is our first dApp and a hybrid DEX uh, that will have features supporting institutional investors coming into DeFi. We will also have a launch pad for connecting CFI assets into DeFi as well. From a startup project to a mainstream project being a pioneer in the industry, how many new startups does the team partners anticipate will show up and compete? We're definitely not the first to try to tackle the underbank market. Instead of competing, we want to work with different projects uh, and utilize our platform and network of partners, many of whom are big institutions in Southeast Asia, to build a new application and products that really serves the need of the people. Can you explain briefly about the concept of peer-to-peer -peer distributed network? Peer-to-peer -peer distributed network means that participants in the network can communicate directly with each other without relying on a centralized party. There is no single point of failure and control as each partner is their own node in the network. Could you please explain the various ErinetS building blocks for smart contract creation and also the smart contract fee as it is the most important part of any project? Yep, definitely. Uh, we try to build ErinetS to be a simple to use platform for developers and users and institutional investors by making the tools and technology as user-friendly as possible to encourage broader adoption. The smart contract fee is comprised of a couple of factors. Uh, one is complexity of the contract and the level of reputational required to complete the contract with high, with high reputation nodes would require higher fees. Can you explain the EveryNet financial service platform and how it will solve real world problems? And can you explain its major components? The EveryNet platform allows for various financial services applications to be built on. For example, for institutional investors looking to get into DeFi, there's currently a lack of infrastructure, such as adequate fiat on-ramp, off-ramp, enterprise wallets, etc. Our first DApp, Every.Finance, is designed to help institutional users participate into DeFi space by giving them supported functionality and access to different yield products. The features also include something like multi-sig wallets, compliance section and reports, and a combination of order book and AMM DMM pools. Please explain more about every network use cases and more information about stablecoin minting and integration with Velo protocol as mentioned in the white paper. EveryNet is an Ethereum fork that replaced uh, proof of work with Tendermint proof of stake consensus protocol. We're focusing on building a high-speed chain. The relationship with Velo will be through the Federated Credit Exchange, where we provide liquidity for specific stable coins and vice versa. This helps us to build the CDFI network we spoke of. Velo also helps to provide a corridor for a digital fiat into crypto space. Users often care less about the main technology behind the token. They rather care about the value of the token itself. So how does every net strike a balance between developing the technology and also improving the value of the token? We plan to have a buyback and burn program using the fees generated from the usage of our network and dApps. So by concentrating on increasing the usability and adoption, we can also benefit the token price as well. Could you tell us about the static gas charge model that every network will integrate? Will you be able to keep this pattern working during market downturns due to the volatility of the crypto market? We use a static gas fee where the price can be adjusted through a voting mechanism in the protocol. These adjustments usually happen when the token price is too high and it has affected the transaction cost in the network. What is the most important feature that sets you apart from your competitors? The main focus of every net will be on security, interoperability with other chains, and transaction speed. What sets us apart is key licenses that we have access to, which will allow us to operate within a certain regulatory framework. Moreover, 
While other platform only provide the change between common popular ERC-20 format pools, we're able to provide a broader cross-chain integration such as with Stellar native tokens. And we'll look to add many more to come in the next year as well. The crypto market has expanded rapidly. Many sectors and new technologies have been incorporated in combination with the traditional one. Who are the strongest competitors that every has and how can they develop in that regard? We don't see a direct competitor. Our focus on bridging liquidity from institutional investors into DeFi is similar to players like Compound, but we do have a different geographic focus uh, within the Southeast Asian, whereas Compound was, is in mostly US. What are the benefits and incentives for a user who uses the application and hosts the every token? How will it benefit and attract users to hold more tokens in the application? In the coming month, we will launch our DEX, Every.Finance, which will allow token holders to participate in liquidity pools to earn rewards. Towards the end of the year and early next year, we'll focus on introducing features that will bridge institutional investors and CFI assets into DeFi. Token holders will be able to participate in yield products that has a fixed yield and a longer term maturity as well. How do you plan to spread awareness about your project in different countries where English is not so good? Do you have local communities like Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand, Korea, etc. so they can better understand your project? We work with a number of local marketing agencies, community VCs and our regional partners to build communities in different countries. Right now, we have a very active communities already for Indonesia and Vietnam and are starting to grow our Thailand community. We have planned to expand to other networks also in the future. It is important to expand the market in the Asian region. With your project, do you have plans to expand your business in the Asian regions? We have a pipeline of projects that we're working on in the Southeast Asia region. We're open to working in other parts as opportunity arises, but generally we want to be focused in this region first where we have a strong network of partners. Which country market has every network been approaching? And could you please share with us your market expansion strategy in the near future? As mentioned, we have a strong pipeline of new things in the works. At the moment, I, can dis I can't disclose specific details, uh, but there are many projects in countries such as Thailand and Indonesia that we're working on to provide, and we'll look to update that through our channels uh, in the future. Since you are working with real-world companies to allow tokenizing real-world assets, could you tell me more about your partnerships and investors? Yes, uh, so through our network of partners uh, in the traditional um, industries, uh, we're connected to a number of projects. As mentioned, we have a pipeline of work, uh, which we're looking to introduce in the future. Does financial services platform EveryNet intend to launch its own token? And how will smart contracts work? We're launching our utility network every this week. Uh, for the smart contract part, they're fairly straightforward, covering contract type, asset, conditions, even to trigger an action to take. The smart contracts fees are determined by the complexity of the contract and the reputation of the nodes involved to validate it. How do you maintain the quality and value of your project products? We have a comprehensive QA process and all our base codes is thoroughly audited before being published. While checking your roadmap, I found it incomplete. Can you explain how you're going to make it up? We've provided a roadmap toward the end of the, this year and early 22. We're working on a few new exciting things and we'll include those new developments in the future. I can say, we, I can say that we're looking at very exciting 2022. All right, last question. What can we look forward to your projects? As mentioned, so we're listing our token very soon this week. Um, in the coming month, uh, we'll also look to launch Every.Finance, which is our first DApp and a hybrid DEX. Uh, towards the end of the year, we'll introduce new exciting features that will help support and bridge liquidity from institution investors and CFI assets into, C into DeFi. Uh, we'll also look to introduce a new technology that we're incorporating towards the end, uh, towards the mid of next year as well, which will coincide with our launch of our mainnet. Thank you so much for answering 20 questions from the community. Now it's your turn to ask our fans six questions. Do you have the six questions ready? Yep, I do. So question one, what part of the world is EveryNet focused on for its launch? Question two, what is the name of EveryNet's flagship DApp? Question three, what are some of the key features that Every.Finance will provide? Question four, when will Every.Finance be launched? Questions five, 
what other products will be launched together with every.finance that is an important part of the every ecosystem? Question six, what three token formats does every net plan to support at launch? Awesome session. Thank you for the questions. We hope you guys like the interview session with Pat. For fans whose questions are selected, please claim your rewards as per instructions in the description box below. And for those who want to participate and win USDT, simply answer the six questions that Pat had asked, comment your answers in the comment section below, and we will pick six lucky winners. Thank you once again so much for coming on to our show, Pat. Till the next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye! Bye, thank you.